My name is Pips, so roundabout's going to go over. There's that one roundabout we had trouble with before. You know, the ones with all the exits. Yeah. The funny exits. So I'm just going to grab this, this side roundabout from above, or sort of from an angle. So we'll go over this to begin with. Um, what else do you want to go over today? Because we've got roundabouts and turning the road is the main two things we, to, we said we we're going to do. Yeah. Get those two things done. That's really the main point, but is there anything else you want to cover that we've covered before or anything? Last um, time you want to go over. Maybe still practicing the if you get to a junction and it's slightly uphill. I know you've covered yep. it, but I'm still not feeling like I'm that good at it. Yeah, don't we'll give that a go on this because some of these junctions are going to be uphill. Um, because it's warm, if I need to turn on, we'll get the aircon on the aircon on because it's a bit too warm for you to have the aircon. So if I need to go to neutral and turn on, and then uh, yeah, that's good there. These cameras get really hot when it's warm, even when it's cool to get hot, so you have to have the aircon on all the time. Um, yeah, so the creeping will do more on the turning of the road. The thing you said about the creeping up the hill and down, we'll do it actually now to begin with on this hill. Um, not the turning of the road, we'll do the creeping on this road, then we'll go and try to turn somewhere else. But we might do that before the roundabouts, but just to go over this because this is something that came up last time. So the main thing to go over on this one or any roundabout is. When you're given a direction, it's always the exit number you've got to look out mm -hmm. for. So, <laughs> if you come from... Some of these diagrams aren't that good because the tree shadows are kind of in the way. But if you came from this way, you can't really say, oh, well, I don't know what these things are on the road. Some kind of funny shadows on the road. But it's like there's loads of people walking in the road. But if you're going here from the right lane and you want the second exit, where is that starting from there? Where's the second exit? This one? No. Oh, that's it, oh, that's it. Because you've got to remember one is immediately there. So not every time, but most roundabouts, you start at one because one is here. Because mm. I was going to be one before, you count one, two, you've missed the first one. <coughs> so the other way you can look is like a clock face, because the other one we did was where you went ahead. Um, so we came from this way, and we said ahead, third exit. So ahead on this one is exactly not the pen, straight on. It's mm. the same road pretty much. I don't know if it's the same name, but it's for the pen like that. It's the same, just straight ahead, it's just straight over. When you're doing it, I know it's not so obvious because you've got to count the exits and all that. But, but um, that's what you can do to help out. So you go exit one, but that there isn't an exit because you can't go off that way. So okay. this may or may not be what the problem was, but um, some people count on one, two, three, four, five. It's not because it's like just one, two, three. Because you can only go off there, you can go off there, you can go off there. There's one of them here, which you can't tell from this, but it's a bus terminus. So, I think, from memory, I think cars are allowed in there, because some of you are not building this one, you are. So that is actually fourth exit there. That'll be fifth, and that'll be sixth. So there are six exits on this one. Um, seven if you include the one you come from. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the one you want. So, that's one way you can do it. <laughs> that's the main way to count the exit numbers. So, this one we're going over, that will sound like a head third exit, and just count them out as you go around. Okay. Um, the other way you can do is like a clock face, so if you're coming from there, you're always coming from like 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. so that would be one number. 12. Yep, so 12 there you get, that one would be maybe one number, which is how that would be. 1? Yeah, it's almost 12, it's all 12 and 1, it could be sort of 5 past 12, something like that. But normally you have numbers, so that would be like, I don't know, sort of 9, 12, 1, that would be maybe 2 and 4. Yeah. Sometimes that doesn't help, sometimes it does, but if you think of it like a clock face. So when you see them on the diagrams on the, the white signs on by the side of the road, it doesn't look like this because it's a satellite one, but it's more sort of like that. It's like a flat picture. So it's easier to tell where you're going. So do you want to do the roundabouts first or do you want to go and do the clutch control? We'll do some clutch control here, but let's see how it goes actually to begin with. Okay. We'll, we'll plan the rest of it based on how this goes. Um, what is, it, what is it in particular you want to go over with the clutch work? So when, I, so when I'm in second or third, and then I <coughs> want to go to first, yep. I don't need to brake or because of the hill, or you want to brake, brake what, a little bit. That's it. But what don't you want to do with the brake? I don't want to stop. Yeah, no, that's it. But if you do stop, what must you do then? Then the hand brake has yep. to come. No, that's it. So just to go over this briefly, because you can stop, not wrong if you stop, but you don't really want to. Because mm -hmm. then, like I say, you got to sort of creep. If I go clutch down back too much, if I don't do the handbrake, what's going to happen? It would roll. Yep, no. that's it. If it is a clutch with the brake on, it can damage you all the way flying, or I can jump around and all that. Yep, so if you stop dead, handbrake on, gas clutch, go again. Okay. So it doesn't have to be slow, you can do it quite quick, you can stop, handbrake, you can hold it without even letting go, like that, and then seat feet and go. 
So it's not wrong that that's okay. But you try and get it so you just creep, crawl, hold, and yeah. then go. This develops your planning better. Because if you don't plan much, your driving will be poor. So it's good if you plan ahead and you can creep and it all comes together really well. So we're going to imagine that tree on the left there is the end of the road. <coughs> so we're going to move off as normal and then balance it so your bonnet is looking on the level with the tree roughly. Okay. Um, how you do that I can't say because by the time I've said in you've done it, it's changed. So if I say clutch and you don't just throw it away, then if you brake and abs or whatever you can change instantly. So you may or may not need to brake a little bit, but not too much at all. Obviously not too much because this road's pretty short. Uh wait for these bikes to get out of the way. <laughs> um, when might you need to brake? Like, apart from having to slow down, what else could make you on a brake? Going up behind you. Uh, I'm not sure. So, if you look in the mirror, there's a car or a bus behind your clothes, mm -hmm. you wouldn't just clutch down the wall, but because I wouldn't know what you're doing. If it's right. a junction, it probably would because it would see it, they'd see you signaling, they'd know you're going to slow down. But if you were going to pull over here, you wouldn't just clutch down the wall because no one would know what you're doing. So, you want to maybe okay. mirror, indicate, maybe brake like that so the brake lights are on, but you're not actually using the brake. So, like that little bit there, all it does is put the lights on. You don't actually use the brake, <coughs> but, but this is one of the most the most difficult things you ever do. So um, it doesn't matter we spend any time on this because that's what driving's all about. If you could do all this perfectly, which hopefully you can soon, then <laughs> that make it all easy because that makes everything every topic easier. Okay. But so let's give that a go. That's also a part of it. If you get a C in the wrong place, that can throw you off. Because you can be trying to do the clutch when it doesn't work. Your shoes are the same as always, which is good, but if you try driving like boots, whatever, it, it's horrible. You know, thick boots, thick trainers. It's yeah. really hard to, to get a feel for the pedals. I thought I'd always make sure I wear the yeah. same ones, no, even good. though it's hot. Yeah. If I try driving trainers, it's really hard, even for me, I just can't get a feel, because I'm not used to it. So, first of all, just moving off to the wood, trying to avoid any rolling back at all, but I won't say how, because I think, you know. That's a tiny bit of the as long as you don't go flying back. So you try and balance it by the tree. Yeah, that's good. So what you do when you get to a junction to that, but you break before that. So you break, then you do that. So I'll put the two things together. Um, just want to go and break and clutch down. It must be bad in clutch down now, because if you get a clutch down bike, you're all back. So right, brake okay. on, clutch down, and then that uh, back. That's it. So if you come off yours, I've got mine down. I'm just going to show you why that wasn't so bad. The little bit of rolling back doesn't really matter. Eventually, you don't want to have any at all. But yeah. that wasn't too bad, because you was only a little bit. What you don't want is when... I've got gentle ones around the path now, van. Just wait for that one to go. When we say rolling back, um, like this, if I do deliberately wrong, like that isn't too bad. It's a little bit, but not too bad. Well, you don't want any at all, eventually. Mm -hmm. Rolling back is when people do this. And people go like that, roll back and back and back and back and back and back. And then there's some brake and too late, you've already hit a car. Because that one, you mm -hmm. went back a long way. You, know, you would definitely hit someone doing that. If it's like, you know, a centimetre, it shouldn't matter because it shouldn't be that close anyway. But <coughs> eventually, we won't have no rolling back at all. We'll try and have the army today, so by the end, there's no rolling back. So that's okay. quite hard to achieve. But anyway, so let's get moving now. We're going to go for a drive now. We're going to try. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to try the roundabouts first or the turn in the road? Because it doesn't really matter what order we're um, doing. It. Maybe the roundabouts first, yep. I think. Yep, let's go and attack them. We'll give them a go. And then uh, we don't have to do the turn in the road, but it's a good chance to get it done before okay. we move on to the bigger roundabouts. So, what do you want me to help you with? Um, so, maybe I'll try to point out the exits. Yep. And then. Hopefully I won't get it wrong. That's good. If you counter out loud, it'd be good. So as you pass one, as you about to pass one, yeah. just counter out. I don't know why I didn't count that one that was right next to me. That was stupid. Now that one is common. Um, it's not just our roundabouts. A lot of them people do that because when you're a roundabout, which way are you looking normally? Like, sort of. Oh, right. That's it. looking over there. So what's here? You don't, don't think about it. It's good in a way because remember we said last time, don't think about left too much. Mm -hmm. It's good to look at it, but if you stare left and give way that way, you shouldn't be. You should maybe give way to the right. There are roundabouts to give way to left. I might actually pull one of those in later on, uh, but I'll show you that one. But right, so let's get moving. So yeah, pretty much everything's up to you apart from <coughs> just the roundabouts on it. There might be a bit of creeping in the That's good. Right, you 
you can't afford to be slop when you drive, but you haven't got to be absolutely perfect to get through a test or to be safe, because to get it perfect is very hard, it's not impossible. But you can't be so bad that you're smashing your mirrors off the bottom. <laughs> That's good. That's fine, you got loads in there. Yeah, it's a nice wide road. <laughs> Maybe I should. Oh, okay. it was a wide road. <laughs> this could be hard if you get the tree branches falling down. Anyway, so end of the road, right? Do you want any help with this or do you want to do it anyway? Um, I think we can do oh, it. Not bother if you stop or whatever, just do it slowly. I didn't even want to forget before. That's it, that's it. I didn't mention that because if you try and creep too much into it, it will start to destroy you. That's good. That one's pretty good. The one thing I said is it positions a bit far to the right. So like that black car there, mm. you're sort of that close to the curb. So you're not hitting it, but you're very close to it. Um, this comes in more on the bigger roundabouts. You want to sort of bend when you get there, so you sort of bend and face left. So on this road, we'll go right. I'll help a little bit here because we haven't done crossroads in detail yet. But just see if you can roll up and balance it on the line just before the line. Lots of brake. Braking, braking. And then cut your brake off into one. So braking is too late. See, it's because you're braking so late you can't get it done. So you've got to go much, much earlier, brake off and roll. So hand brake up and then back over to you. So imagine you've just braked, you've come down to like two or three miles an hour, mm. then you just do what you're going to do now. So you've got to down a little bit down there, that's good. Just try not to make it clutch down, that's it. But when can we go, do you reckon? Um, no, there's quite a few. Now normally I'd say don't balance that, but do balance because this is good practice. I'm always ready to make, so don't be bad. You feel that's still there for like 10, 15 seconds. Thing. That's good. Sure, that's it. That's good. Because that's what I said before about doing gas and clutch, that's a lot better. You said the power you get when you pull away. Is anyone behind us? No. That's good. So, yeah, that, anyone, yeah, that works a lot better. Yeah. That's good. So normally there, you could, but it doesn't have a right one, you can stop and make because of the length of time we're there. But for the sake of practicing today, that's much better to do that. So the <coughs> only thing missing was the braking when you get there, just sort of brake harder. Um, and earlier was it yeah. as well? Okay. If that side road on the left was the end of the road, you'd be braking roughly about now and it'll be off by about, you know. Right. It's about an if and but because it depends on how you do it, the weather, whatever. If it's lashing down with the rain like it was the other week, yeah, that's different. That can make the view worse, you've got to slow down more. The view here is awful, and you can't see over the hill. <coughs> you could even have a double that could pass over the hill, you wouldn't see it. Because um, it's so hidden, like a van comes out of it. So I should have that's good. Oh, yeah, a bit high. Just try breaking that, not too much of it. That's, it. that's good. That's it. So that truck, just to win this, is quite narrow road, so as you're always good, but just left a little bit. That's good. That's great. Now, don't sit in the pass and try not to move left much, but that one you have to because that's so narrow. Yeah. You see the way his tyre was hanging over the line? Yeah. It's uh, <coughs> quite an awkward bit of road. So, planning well ahead. There's a few things about lights, but what else is coming up? Um, roundabout, yep. you can see. Is this one flat downhill uphill? Um, slightly uphill, I think. That's it. Actually, no, maybe quite uphill. That's it, but it's quite big. They actually flattened this one about a year ago, they kind of flattened it a little bit, it's still quite big. So, how much can you see to the right? Um, not, not very it. much at all. So, no. when you get there, it's going to be one creep. <coughs> so, okay. normal stuff, not mirrors, no good. So, break it up, spread it. Switch exit, off straight. So, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, much more, much more, more. Clutch down, break it more, 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 more. Back off, more, that's good. Steer and left, balancing. That's good, and just balancing really so that's good. Right, like, when can we go? Uh, I don't know. Can you go after this one? This one That's, good. That's great. A lot of time before you push, loads of power, leave the gear quite loud, so you push, 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 push. And now? That's it, that's good. That's it. That's good, because that is a really bad view. This is the one we spoke about on that diagram, so it's going to be ahead, third exit. So okay. as you go around it, it's on 12 o'clock straight ahead, following that white van. And just count the exits as you go around. Okay. 
Okay. Um, the approach on that would have been so breaking a lot. Down to one, breaking, breaking, breaking. Breaking, 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 break off for all. That's good, can we balance? Can we go? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's good. So. Running, so, exit switch. So, that's one. That's two, that's three, yep. and then this is four. That's it. Oh, I should have been in second, that's I think. One. That is four, but which exit do we want? Three. Yep, that's it. So you win the wrong way. So oh. it's, like, it's, <laughs> the, it's not the wrong way because you can't get away, but I have to tell you because otherwise you might think that was the right. So you're just going to go ahead, third exit, tap right, fourth exit. So right, okay. nothing dangerous, they're actually looking around, no big danger. But you want number three. So end of the road, we're going to go right, and <laughs> leads back to So this one, how is this different to the other approaches? Why um, sit on that? Slightly down. Yeah, why can't you sit on that? So oh, the road, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's down, if you want, you can stop, that's up to you. So, don't need to stop. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's really good there, because which gear do you mean now? That? Second. Yep, that's good. <coughs> so, nothing wrong with that, because you can't see enough to come out in two. That shows your control is good, because one is easier, but two is still good. Mm -hmm. Two, we want to do if we can. Yep. Well, when you come out, one's a lot easier. So try not to do one because it's much, much easier. But two is possible because you're looking, looking, nothing there. So that's safe. But it's always much easier to come out one. Not roundabouts, because roundabouts are different because <coughs> they're designed to be open. So roundabout right, third exit. Okay. And so, the lot of sides are making downhill. That's good. So clutch for no gear. No, no gear. Because we don't know yet which one it's going to be. Which gear would it be now for definite? One. That's it. Because it's such a bad video, pretty bad. Okay, so bending left a lot. Go on, can we go? Um, oh, I've if we go no, that'll be good. Yeah. Because our black one's black. Straight. Black, yeah, right. 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 So round right. around, massive turns. That's a big turn, turn. That's good. And then left. Side. That's good. That's fine. Oh. You don't have to indicate that. It's just because it's quite busy. Good, but there's no need to because it's a mini one. You don't have to. These, uh, these things I won't so much about. I won't mention the junctions much either, but I just want to make sure they go well to begin with. There's one pinch point here which I mentioned before when that car's part of the, big, the tallest car. Mm -hmm. It's really narrow, so it's all breaking a bit. Okay, that's good. Okay. That's it. I didn't mention the mirrors there, but it's always mirror break. But if I say mirror break, by the time I've said mirror break, it's too late. So, round about ahead, which lane to go to this second exit, which lane? Um. This one. That's it. So we come up as we are. Any chance of just going? Um, yeah, I think That's good. we can. So we've already passed number one. So do left mirror, left signal, down there, following the white one. This one. That's it. That's good. Oh, yeah, because that's one. Yep. Oh, again. That's it. That's one. This one we did before, we saw about that to head. So what's happening now? Um, mini roundabout. That's good. So this one's up to you, straight ahead, second exit. Sorry, straight ahead, first exit. So I was going to ban in case they went back, but they didn't. So then, what now? Oh, first. That's it. Let's well, creep through on this one. Just on the third, though, I just want to get that done. Oh. I said, just going to creep through on it. Yeah, that one, what I did is, I'll explain in a second. Can we go? Yep. Because that car got a turn a bit sharp, they were going up the curb, I didn't want to miss rolling back, because that curb's so big, I thought they might roll back. They didn't, but if they had it, then it's not good to be passing them as they roll back. <coughs> so that man put his hand up saying, you know, thanks. Yeah, thanks for not taking a risk. Yeah, so that one, <coughs> that roundabout was ahead first exit because I thought it was a, a four way roundabout, it's not. Most roundabouts are four way where you've got left ahead and right, but that one is only, you know, it's only one exit straight on. So, end of the road, we'll go right. So, even if you know the road, you can get the exit numbers wrong. So, in, more, in many ways, it's, it's knowing where you're going is the most important thing. If you know the actual road you want, it's the main thing. So, oh, stop. That's good. So it's trying to roll in, so breaking a lot. That's better than the rest of you. That's good. Okay. That's good. So what made that much better than the other ones? Um, I think I braked earlier, but not yep. too hard. That's it. 
when you get more used to it, you can lag a bit later than that, but for now that's good because that gets you braking earlier. Some of these things you learn take months or years to develop, so you can't get it spot on from the beginning. That is, if you make it a little bit later, you wouldn't be waiting as long, but it's a bit harder to do because you've got to do the balancing quicker. Now, there are many ways you can tell where you're going around about as well. There are different coloured signs, we'll go over that in a bit, but um, all these things can help. But for the moment, it's just the exit number and the, the clock face direction we want. So, if I ask you on this one to follow Longbridge, which way is that going to be? Um, straight over. That's good, the... it shows you why it's good. So, which number will that be on the clock? Uh, 12. Yep, that's it. So, that's like a standard clock face one. So, so no straight ahead. Chances of going? I think so, yeah. yeah. That's good. So you pass that one with your left signal. That's good, that moves good as well. That's good. That's all better. It's all better because you approach it better. Because if, if the approach goes wrong, everything goes wrong. But generally, if the approach goes well, it normally goes wrong. So, the only slight thing on the last one is trying to avoid looking at the gear. Like when you're looking down to see yeah. if you're So, how do you notice your third, apart from the fact I've just said that? But uh, how would you notice third? Um, I suppose because it's sort of near 30 but not struggling. Yep, that's so it. So it should be third. That's good. So what's going on now? Uh, the mini roundabout. Yep, that's good, because the mini. So roundabout will go left first exit. Can you get past this car though? Um. So it's good to see now after you pass that car. Oh. So otherwise it looks like it might be sort of pulling. Sorry. So. Oh yeah, that was quite early actually. The thing is, there's no right and wrong, it doesn't matter. It, as long as you get the eight, eight gear, you know, not any of them, they're not any of them, but one or two, if that speed is good for you. Did you look at the gear on the approach with that? I yep, did, yeah. Because <laughs> I couldn't yeah. remember what I was in, but I should have known. Let me see. Okay, it isn't always a major problem, but it can be. Like, imagine if you look down there, the car comes out smash, because mm -hmm. our car could pull out there quite easy. Yeah, so it doesn't matter one or two because the speed is appropriate for either. If you lift the clutch smooth as you did, you don't feel any jumps because one or two is okay. It's not about, it's not about being perfect, there is no perfect because it's diff could be done different ways. Yeah, I changed, I went, I, can't, I think I went two, one, no two actually. That's it. <laughs> changed your mind a lot. But that was good because you, you still got it done. Even though you changed your mind a couple of times, you still got it done. Which shows your approach is a lot better. So, this is what I did before, and then the the road will go left. I won't so much, but just think about when you sit on. Okay, so after this small road. That's it. And then we'll change to one. That's good. Let's get to That's it. Try to pull up. Let's go. That's good. So, bang in the same way. I don't think I've put enough power down That's it. first. That's good. Do you know it's that gas clutch? <coughs> that's why. Because even if you do the clutch really well, you'll still get that jitter. In this particular car, that's how it works. Those gears are good, don't they? Nice and smooth. So we'll try that one again in a bit, but not straight away. So yeah. The other thing is our positioning. How does that position need to be a little bit better? Not on this road, but on that junction. Oh, I needed to be a bit more to the left. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I should have steered. That's it. So when you steer, what does that do to your speed? Um, it will reduce your speed. That's it. It's not just speed on too much. Right? I'm always guessing again with that, but it just feels a bit quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was so that was good. That was called bending left a lot. Yeah, you don't always want it what you call scrubbing the speed off. When you steer, you scrub it off. So the tyres kind of create friction and slow you down. It doesn't do much. You won't slow you down and stop you. Yeah, not from this speed. But um, it does knock off two or three miles an hour. So this roundabout, we're going to go towards Kings Norton, up to which one is it? Um, right. Yep, that's good. And it's good to know because that garage is in their entry. Oh, okay. So that, again, that dock around that doesn't count as an exit. So, that's good. I'm actually going to bend, bend it after that. Can we go or not? Mm, no. Nope, that's good. Go on, can we? After this. No, that's good. One. Try and get second gear and bow. No. So second. Oh, I don't think that's I can, sorry. Right. That will bring you more because that's quite a time out of it. You don't have to there because there's no real need to have to. It's just, what do you think the difference is when you're in second? Um. No, one. I, sh 
could go faster. Yep, there's that one. It just shows you more control over speed. It was a long try quicker. So. But I know what it's turns about. Um, a nine second That's it, that's good. So, that's it, that's it. so if you say one, you create loads of noise. That isn't the main problem. The main problem is your struggles. But some of the larger roundabouts, which we'll probably do next time, um, you can't say one because if you do, you'll never get back. You'll be sort of screaming and screaming. <laughs> there comes a point where your engine just runs out of power. Yeah, I, I should have done. I just. Oh, that's good. We've all noticed a lot there. That's quite much better with the approach. You could maybe have gone straight away, but I'm not too worried about that because you know, it's better to do that than take a chance and go. Okay, this would develop and we've already done one, an hour or two roundabouts. So, King's North again, which way is that? Um, left. That's it. So, I won't say much on this one, I'll just help out if I need to, but let's see. Normally we are in one, but maybe I should have been in two. Oh, I should have been. Never mind. Well, why did you start that? Because I could have gone straight away there. That's it. But was was one wrong? Was one wrong? Maybe not enough. Um, I went one because I couldn't see you very well. Yeah. Is that wrong now or is that okay? I think maybe it's okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. So it's always wrong, it could be two, but I think it's not bad to be in one. Um, because it's not always you doing it wrong or bad. It's just that uh, sometimes it can be better and that doesn't mean it's worse. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's bad. So it's all these you can avoid them, but it doesn't matter if you get them because they're so shallow, they won't do any damage. So roundabout left for a second. So, based on what you've seen, could you say three, do you think? Or no? no, definitely not. Let's go. I think two, maybe. That's not clutch below. That's it, you can't be going. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's what I've heard. It's not too much gas, this one's quite a quite narrow road. It's all quite narrow around here, apart from that last road. That's good. Yeah, this one I haven't been saying which way to go, I'm just giving you the name of the place, that seems to be helping. So sometimes if I give you the name of the place rather than the, the exit number, that can actually be a lot better. If it's this one I can't because there's no sign. <laughs> um, so this roundabout will go left first exit, but I'm sure I'm just going. So it's up to you, I won't say much less on it. I can see quite a lot down there. So, yeah, okay. So, that's good. So, what do you think of that? I think it went quite well. Yeah, that's good. There's just one thing I've already done looking down. Because all the rest could be, it's got to try and avoid looking down the gears. So, this round the bag, and there isn't a sign on this one. So, we're going to go ahead, third exit. So, it's counting as you go around, but I won't say much. Just try and avoid looking down as well. Keep looking at the roundabout, the church, whatever. That's better. Um, yes. No. 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 Okay. Sorry. Don't think I could make it quickly. Uh, he was being blocked, but not long enough. So <laughs> if you want to hand back on the, I need to clutch right down. I've got my down here, but you can, if you could, put your clutch right down. Oh, okay. Yeah. So better pedal setting, and then when can we go? Uh, so they'll block a bit of the red one, but not, not long enough. Okay. Is that no? The black one's gonna come round. If someone comes off, I'll, I'll go this a sec. This one. Yeah, that's good. That's great. I'll go down a sec because that's uh, that's easier to explain when we're not leaving. That's good. Two is there on three. Oh, okay. I'm um, right. Let's see. That's it. Because this sound the arrow is what's that sound? The two arrows. Um. Two ways. That's it. Because it looks wrong, it does look like going the wrong way down the road, but we're not. Um, so if that sign wasn't there, it could be that we were going the wrong way. Okay, so the blockers will go over now, we'll go and pull up somewhere and go over them. Because up to now, we haven't had many blockers, I was saying, we've had pretty much some clear chances. So this roundabout, let's go to. Uh, which way is it going to say? Red Knot. It's up to you again, I won't say much of it. So I want to change time. No one, let's switch gear. Two. That's it. But can we go? Um, they're turning, so no. Is that one? That's one. That's it. No, I'm going to break. That's good. That one we have to break because we were on a bit too much. So, better pedals. And when can we go? After this one. Yeah, that's good. Is it time to indicate when you come off? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good.
Well, that's it, because that shows your speed's going down the approach. We're going to take this second, or well, the next main left, just kind of here where the white lines are. Oh, oh sorry, this right. one? Yep, yeah, that's it. That's good. Now we're going to try and pull up on this road somewhere, either here or after this car, I don't know. It's nice and wide, it's quite on this road. That's good. That's it. Right, let's turn off here. Yep. That's it. So that approach is pretty good, we just need to give yourself a bit more time. Um, so the main thing on the approach is what you need to avoid doing. Um, when you're coming up to something you're doing, which is sort of like a habit, you've got to, got to break. Looking yep, that's it, looking at It's only a quick little like that, but if you look down, it can be enough to distract you. So I've got to try and get rid of that, because that in itself, although it seems little, that can be the cause of all the problems. When you look down and look up, that can take your eyes off the road for a little bit, but it does take your eyes off the road for a bit. And there you go, refocus, rethink. And just by avoiding that, that can solve all the problems. Probably not, it's not always that simple, but that can be all it is. Because I found if you keep looking up, people tend to do much better. Um, the blockers I'm going to go over now. In fact, you might as well turn the engine back on because, um, yeah, that's what did you press? Yeah. Do I need to just like normal, yeah, because oh, it's a clutch there. <laughs> that's it because it's so warm. I leave the air kind of that's good. Um, the only thing you can't do with the engine on is like pick up your phone or use a phone or anything like that. But I think it's bent up in your pen, yeah, it's okay to, to use white balls or whatever. So, imagine you got the roundabout like do it from this way, you got the roundabout there. And <laughs> we're approaching from the bomb. As you need yours cover for the bomb on, on diagrams. Um, it's hard to, to do some with when you're moving or when you're still, but this is what I'll try and explain about the blockers. So when that car there, imagine that's a car, the pent up, and that's gonna be a blocker. Where must they be for you to be able to go? So where, where would they be on the roundabout so it's not too late? Um maybe just starting yeah that's it because if the so i went when they're here that's it and then by the time i've sorted myself out he's gone that's it um so if you go in the blocking it's too late sometimes it depends on the roundabout mm -hmm. if it's a lorry there like a really long vehicle like that then of course you can but it wasn't so it's when they're about there to about halfway of the roundabout about there see when you're sort of halfway down you can still go, depending on where they're going, of course, if they're signaling this way to come round, maybe you can't go at all. If they're going ahead, you can go about there. Um, the timing guys is very difficult to develop, that's what we're going to work on now. It's hard because you can only do it when the right situation comes up, so we need to go round and round and round, hoping that the right situation comes up. Um, so try a few more of these roundabouts and then we'll, um, we'll go and do some other ones if we can. There aren't loads more around here, but there are some that we can have a go on. Uh, do you remember we said before about the big ones? Why are they a little bit easier in a way? Um, because you've got more space. Yep. So space to help. What we'll do now, I think, is we'll go and do the manoeuvre, because I'll help with the clutch, which isn't that bad at all, but we'll, we'll go and get the manoeuvre finished. Then we'll come out the other side of that area we went to before, and we'll do more roundabouts there. There won't be big ones, but they'll be bigger than these, so you get a bit more room to have a look at what's going, what's going on around them. But overall, how do you think that's going compared to last time? Oh, I think it's yeah, much better than last time. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. it. So just that breaking more is better. Just trying to avoid looking down. Mm -hmm. um, there is something on this road you've got to look out for. I don't understand what it is, but there's something here that you've got to kind of be aware of because it's all about building up your awareness. So we'll head over to a place we can do the turn the road. Just thinking where we can go because there's a few places we can do that. I want to stick to wide ones to begin with because there are narrow ones you can do, but I want to try and avoid those just for now because um, that can bring you more problems, which just makes things worse. So yeah, we're going to try the wide ones, give those a or normal ones, I mean not wide ones. But anyway, so most of it's up to you. Um, I'll try and give the names of places to follow, but there are many of those around because it's all it's all backwards around here. But anyway, so where would you? That also gets fixed with manoeuvres that we do, um, do more manoeuvres. So end of the road we'll get left. This is strange. That's it, that's good. That's what I was saying. So give way if you need to on the wrong side, it's okay because you've got it. Where would you give way to on this one? Uh, that's it, that's it. That's it. Right. That's it. Because anyone from the main road can quickly come around the corner there. So it's good you look right because a lot of people there miss the main road on the right. Yeah, the way. So end of this road we'll go left. 
Instead of one nine, it's one here. The end's coming up. I want it all on there. Gives you a clue. So how would this be done? That's it, one. Yep. So always come out one. You don't have to every single time forever, but for the moment, just always come out one. Except for roundabouts. Get roundabouts different because they're open. They're designed to be done in second one normally. But every single junction, not the other one, when you turn left before, like the little orange car, always come out one. It's much, much easier. Coming out in two, you've got to look quicker, brake harder, and it's all more rushed. So, end of the road will go right. So, come out when you sit up for this. That's it. So, the view's good, but still, well, that's it because it's, it's um, quite a busy road. It's not bad you didn't go those way, you could have, but not bad you didn't. What's going to help you go now? on the left block. Oh, yep, that's, yeah. that's it. The person. That's it, I'm <laughs> crossing the road. That yep, that's good. Smooth. That's pretty good. But it's that one, um, you could have gone in one, but you're not bad, you don't. It's only bad if you get there, stop, and there's nothing at all, then you don't go. That's when it's a problem, because you're not taking a chance. You have to take chances, but don't take risks. Um, so if it feels too quick or whatever, it's much better to stop and wait and then go. Okay, eventually we try and never stop, but that, that's hard to do. Because you've got to plan so far ahead, you never really have to stop. So we're going to follow the signs for Kings Norton. I know we've done quite a few roundabouts. Do you remember on this one what happened last time we did it about 10 or 15 minutes ago? Um, I just remember, so sorry. about the gear on the approach, was about trying to... Okay. See, the black car and the blue car are going to block. Maybe they'll be gone by the time we get there, but mm. let's see. So, is it worth trying second or not? No. no oh, no, no the lorry, yeah. That's good. So. Oh, I can go. That's good, that's good. So it wasn't worth trying to then, but if more cars have been blocking, like that ground one coming towards us, well, that would be good. And this is good to keep way back. So that car in front is quite close to that truck. That's not a good place to be able to take it. Is that legal or not? No. No, not the way they do. <laughs> you can have a tab, you can't be swerving all over the road, it's taking the whole road. There's no need at all if you just waited, they could just go. The truck's not even going that slow, really. No. <laughs> In fact, the truck's over the line now as well. Go around the potholes. Yep, so roundabout will go right to the third exit, be a If you think you can talk me through it, then do. If not, if that's too much to do, just don't bother. Okay. Depends so how comfy you are. Should be in this lane. That's it. I think. So it was just two seconds. No. Oh no, yes, yep. yes, yes. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, so that could change quite a bit because he was a yes or no, no, yes, no, no. So I'm just gonna come off the wake about now. Yeah, it's back over to you. Because that changed quickly, there was one that was turning off, the next one wasn't. Is you went the right way safely. So again, we can improve it, could have been second, could have been doing a bit more, but you're going the right way safely. Just make sure the speed's good. If you do everything in one go, you've got to sort of make an effort to do it, but if you do everything in one go, it's, it's impossible. Mm -hmm. As you saw last time, most of the way I do the mirror, it would swerve quite a bit. Yeah, so, yeah, that's good. Yeah. So that will do when we've done the turn of road, because that's the first. Uh, So it's a little way down, we're going to go next road down, well, we should be going to be careful. There is actually a new road being built here, so and it's not built yet. It's going to be next road on the left. Oh, where they come That's it. I'm trying to have a look out there. Because they're trying to have a look out there. Maybe breaking a little bit still. That's it. Just to make it a little bit easier. That's been actually turning bigger. Yeah, bigger turns on the wheel. That's good. By the bike, can we get around or not? Um, yeah, no. I need a red lift. No, that's good. Let's go around. It's, it's okay. Which way is the bike? Right, I think. Yeah, that's good. 
So I'm just trying to sort of roll you up. That's good. That's it. Just clutch that down. No, 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 no. Clutch that down, no, no. The clutch needs to stay down because if you get a clutch up, you're going to have the red. That's it. That clutch will be fully down until you get there. You remember the past we said about steer then gear. Mm -hmm. So if you clutch down, brake, forget the gear. Steer, steer, get there, then get one. It's because you you're trying to go a little bit too much. It's good you're trying to go if you sort of over there and you're trying to come out of every junction. You, know, you sort of just go clutch, brake, brake, clutch, the order doesn't matter for now. Steer in your left, steer, 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 one, and then balance it. I mean, it should feel super slow, you've got sort of slow motion, you've got loads and loads of time. Not the van, that's what he's doing now, he's getting clutch down, brake, he's brake off, he's balancing, he's turning. No, you can do the gear when you dip, but you don't need to. That's the thing, you don't need to do the gear just Because yeah. at that particular point, you don't need it. I'm getting a bit too keen with the gear because I don't want to forget so, to do it. <laughs> that's good you're not forgetting it, but now you've got to not do it too soon. Yeah. If you go, um, if you go ahead, I'll show you something on this road actually further on. Just imagine I'll mess up the gears now. Imagine we're not going to turn right, we're imagine if we were sort of my mirror or normally signal. If I go brake, crutch, I'll say I get neutral by mistake, it doesn't matter. I can leave it in neutral, I can roll, 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 sort the car out, now think about the gear, one, then it will go. That's better than doing the gear and then the car behind hits you because you're doing the gear too early and then you don't even get to do the corner. So the gear doesn't matter that much. It does matter, but it's not, not as important. If I show you one more with the bus, just imagine I mess this up by, by, by on purpose. So I'll do my mirror, I'll do brake, clutch. I'll go to get one, I get three. Doesn't matter, leave the gear, I'll right, brake, mirrors, round the bus. Not so wide, round, 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 round. Sorry. Then I get to uh, die. Which key do you think it'll be now? One. Yep, so one, then off I go. So not ideal, but it doesn't matter. That's better than doing the gear too early and hitting the bus. Because some people have panic around the gear and hitting the bus. I'm going to pull up on the left just past where this still white car is. Way back from the junction. Way so back. Like it. That's it. Way, way back. That's it. That's good. Then there you go. That's it. So then. That's, that's good. No, there you left the gear last. That's good. So by leaving it last, it's much better. So if it's rare you ever need the gear in a rush, because you just don't, if you, you know, there's not really any time when you would need the gear really quick. If there is, it means you haven't planned the approach to whatever you're doing. So well. So I did that more in a bit, but what I'm going to go over here is one thing that's a little bit different, which will actually help with what we're just talking about. So looking ahead of you, what is ahead of you now? It's a roundabout, but it's a funny shaped one. Yeah, that's it. So it's not round. No, it is round. Yeah, that's it. We talk about steering. That instructor just passed us the other way. I saw him yesterday had the flat tyre because one of his people smashed the kerb. I remember that and his, his tyre blew up. So um, that's why it's important to steer, then gear. So he's all steer around, get the positioning good, and then go through. Yep, yeah, so roundabout. Um, you won't notice till you get there, but I'm going to draw it in now because if I ask you when you go around, you don't really have time to answer. So it's a roundabout like that, so a slightly funny shape. Um, when you go around on this one, it looks like that, so it's a fairly kind of, you know, there aren't many X's, and there's only two X's, so I remember like that. Um, when you go around here, you get these lines on the floor. So what does that mean if you come out from there and you go left and you've got these lines? That means you're meant to come out but nobody can go in that way. Yeah, but what do you mean on the round? It's good, what, what do you mean on the round about what you have to do? Because that is correct, but what, what that mean you've got to do? If it's actually that one, it's, it's uh, a little bit better. It's kind of like there, so more, that's more like that. And there's like a bit of concrete or something there, I can't remember. But when you go around, if you're going right from there, where is the right to begin with? Coming from there. This way, no. Over there. So there's only like a left and a right, this one is not, not like most roundabouts. You could call it head or right, whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever you call it. So it's over that way. Um, but what, does, what do you have to do on those lines as you go around? Do you mean a stop there? Not stop, but what else? Similar to stop, but what's it mean? That oh, anybody who's lines. here, yep. they. I have to give way to them. Yep, that's it. So there aren't many roundabouts like this anywhere in Birmingham, but you do have to give way to your left on this one. So you give way to your right, you would sort of give way to that road ahead of you now to begin with. When you go round, you look left and give way to anyone here. So you can't just go round as you would on most roundabouts. Um, okay. There maybe won't be anyone there because it's a fairly quiet roundabout, as you can see, but you do have to have a look. Um, if you don't see that, what would happen if you go around and just carry on? Um, you could crash because they'll yep, think they have right away. Yeah, that's it. Because at this one, yeah, they do have right away, so they, they, they should look and they should see you're not going to give way, but it's up to you, you know, to give way. Um, 
So this was something before about not you don't normally give way to left, but there's somewhere you do, and this is one of them. There is another one I'll put into lessons later on. Probably depends where we end up. Not today, but in the future there's another one of these where I won't say it's coming up. And if you don't know it's there, it's quite hard to actually see because there are no warnings at all. It just comes up and suddenly you're going around a big roundabout. You suddenly got to give way without much warning. Mm -hmm. Right. So roundabout, whatever you call it, ahead right where that digger, the arm of that crane digger thing is over there, where that car has gone down, that's where I'm going to go. So I'll call it right second exit. So, like this? Yep. But you've only got left to right this one, so you could just start left to right, because there's only really two exits. So, just so we can't go this way? No, they you can come in this way. Yeah. You can go back where you're going. Um, so where, where the van is, it's going to go the other way. We're going to give it a go. It's quite simple, it's just, it just looks weird when you drive, but it's just right second exit. Um, but the thing is here, to understand that the gear doesn't matter when you get there, it's steer, brake, clutch, all the rest, but not the gear. So, okay. let's go and give that a go. It's a lot more sense to me do, it's just a bit, it's easier to actually do it. Sorry, just That's good. That's good, Ellen, but moving off you do is good. And then, I can't remember if it's brake that comes off first or clutch, I think it's brake. What would happen if your clutch came up to begin with? Oh, it's stall. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's brake. <laughs> That's it. Now moving off is really good because you're constantly doing the blind spot, which is quite hard to do. So, right, that's fine. That, that's as good as you can get that. So, right, second exit. So, signal that's it. right here. So, stop it when you follow around. Oh, I can see it. it. Now, it's quite clear the mark is from, so, can we go? Yeah. Yep, yeah, let's get the mark again. Okay, that, one, yeah, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Do you want to decay or not? Um, I think that's it, so. That's it, that's Why is that? Because <coughs> the people behind... Yeah, that's it, well. there's people around, that's fine. So. Yeah, you don't have to, no one's around, you don't always have to, but it's good if you do. Mm -hmm. You can look at signals either way, because it, you can say if you do them all the time, you're wasting time, you put more effort into that, you could be putting more effort into steering. But, you know, if you think there's a need to do it, you can. As long as it doesn't confuse anyone, that's the main thing. So end of the road, we go, right. You might recognise this now, we haven't been down this way before, we've been up the other way. So, that down in the road of a bowl. Like, Actually, no, for one. So, you warm it, not yet, because you don't need it too soon. You've got a great clutch roll. Uh, you can do it there, but you don't need it to the back here. Okay, and we, we were going right. That's good. Squeeze your nose out so we can't ask. And next road down the right. Remember this is where we came about a month ago to do it. So should I go second or yeah, should? Yeah, that's good, that's it. Because that's straining, you want to get to, that's good. If you don't, you'll rev and rev and burn a bit of fuel. Okay. So, hopefully there'll be somewhere on this road. That van's always there, it never moves anywhere. I thought it'd been a week, you might not be there, and every day, sort of thing. So what we'll do is... Just roll for this, see if we've got room to do it. No, we'll go around the van, because I don't want to start from behind the van. That's okay. just awkward. We'll go... Next left, we're going to find a different area to do this. Mm -hmm. So, paying that money, if it wasn't there, would be ideal. So, let's do that. So, just imagine this one, it goes wrong. So, we do normal sort of mirror signal left as you always do. Now, if you get a clutch down, mm -hmm. which we didn't need to, imagine that it's going to go wrong, that doesn't matter. So, just roll as you are, you get the steering done. That's it, so we'll get around the bend, that's the main thing to keep it safe. Is this still okay for second or not? I think we should be in one. That's it, so one minute, it's really slow. That's good. I'm breaking a bit, breaking, breaking. That's it, that's good. So you wouldn't plan on doing that because you're coasting, but that's what you do to recover. If I show you the other way of doing it now, I'm going to deliberately do this one wrong. So if you go into the road right, a little bit of gas, but I'll deliberately mess this one up. Imagine if I'm in second now, and I'm messing about with the gear, I'm thinking which gear, three, two, one, two, one, you can fly now, smash. So it's much better to stop or slow down, then do the gear, and then go. So the gear doesn't matter, it's the main thing to understand for me. And then end of the road, we'll go, boys. And we're back in the first gear then. So one's good there because we're hardly moving, hardly moving. So we're really slow. Yeah. That's good. You know, so now well, your clutch is up on the approach. So, yeah. what difference does that make? That's not as bad, it's not bad. You mean that you're slower? Because so, if it, your clutch is down, you'd go faster. If you go next left. Okay. In that case, you go fast with your clutch up because it casts more weight in your forwards. I'll show you that in a second, we'll go around the corner. 
this is what the turning the road is all about though. But we'll hopefully get this done, but it's just um where we're going now can be quite busy. That's a good exact cluster side up. But it's on a junction that will pull you out. Because the clutter's been up the engine saying go, 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 so it's pulling you out the end of the road. So in most junctions you want the clutch down so you can control the car better. If it's up you get dragged out the end. If you try to just brake it with no clutch, mm -hmm. imagine at the end of the road is this tree snorting around. See the car's pulling and saying go, 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 mm -hmm. and then brake off, go. That's it. Oh, sorry. That's it. No, that's it. Because that's where you must come off the road. That's why you don't come out of junctions in two. That's a good example. Because if you do that in second, that's what happens. So this one ended the road right. Should have remembered that. So, so all we do is clutch down now, it must be down, that's good, that's it. If it's up you get dragged out of the end. Mm -hmm. With it down you've got much more control. That's it. That's it. So with that you've got much more control, so we're getting clutch up down and down, it's much better. Whereas if it's up you'd be going straight away. You don't always have more control of the clutch down, it's not true, you, you don't always want to have you down, but in that situation you do. Turn the road, we'll have to leave a little bit because it's just busy everywhere, I'm trying to do this. So uh, we'll leave that for now. We'll still get it done, but we'll go to, um, to a different area to do that. Now we did this one before, remember, in the past? Oh yeah, yeah, this one of the first ones. So, the end of the road, the clutch must be down, must be one, because it would never work any other way. Because it, it's so bad with the park cars. Okay, so. Left, that's it? it. So it's clutch down, that's what makes it all better. So steer, no, 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 no. So steer, get around the cars, steering back. Now we need to get to one, that's it, then you creep. Just much more control doing all that. That's good. Your hands stay on the wheel, and there's no need for the gear too soon. So not bad, you could have done it when you're going to do it, but it's much better to leave it late just before you need it, pop it in. So this is the gears a little bit early because you're struggling for the car not getting a deal. It's going to push much harder than get three. Okay. So you've got to make sure you use the gear, push up and push down. So you use the gear to its full extent. So you get as high as you can in it, as low as you can in it, before you change. So straight on, I won't so much for a little bit now. Um, it's only about 10 minutes to get to where we're going. These will be the narrow turning the roads that we do, but that doesn't really matter because we might as well do those. It's about three places we could do them over here so we should be good. You see that car in front go around the learn both of them. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing that? Apart from them being a bit impatient maybe. Um, they're just too slow. Yep, that's it. Because when we were doing that before, that's what I said about don't linger on the corner. So come down to go and get on with it. That's what I said about don't hold back, otherwise it annoys people. Yeah. But we weren't going that slow, but remember that, that car behind us once was waving faster than that man in the black car about two months ago now. Maybe there's some sort of wave and go faster, go faster, we couldn't. But this is good. So, try and keep it down on 30 all the way, keep going straight on. Whatever you get, two junctions, whatever, keep going ahead for now. Okay. Just let me know if you see something that could affect us. It so, we're, that's the roundabout. Yep, that's good, that's good. So, we're going to go ahead on that one, for a head second exit on this one. Okay. How you do it is completely so up to you. Small roundabout, not a big roundabout. So, actually, okay, third is too much. Second, but I think I stay in second. What do you think of that? Maybe I should have signaled to leave. That's good, that's fine. Because when I ask you what you think of it, it's not always bad. It just means you know, it's just so I know how you think it's gone. That was really good. That's a good answer, Bridge. What made you say it's a big roundabout? Because um, it was in a triangle first and then it was a blue sign. Yep. So, yeah, that triangle though, that just means any roundabout of any kind. Oh, it just means okay. roundabout, yeah, full stop. Oh, I see. So, back over to you, I won't say too much because this is just normal. So much just because the roads have been on until now, we haven't really had very open roads. Okay, 
so now I need to make sure it's always on 30. That's it. You can see 40 down the image cast, that's the point of the default. So it's going to be very smooth. So not this bus stop, but the next bus stop further around the corner, there'll be a road on the right opposite that, and that's where we're going to turn into. Okay. It's about, at this speed, about roughly 15 seconds away ish. Let's just see how this goes. Oh no. Oh, I should have maybe yeah. actually. First. That's because you couldn't have gone there, that would have been, uh, would have been too close. And now we can go. That's good. It's good you looked into the road there as well. Because what is happening in this road? Oh, cool. Yeah. Sorry. That's um, good. Sorry. What's the problem? There are cars yeah. everywhere. That's it. No, well, that's good. Just go for that looking down when you get to see it, but the rest are really good. It's not that you could always go see it, it's not always wrong because what you're doing is good there. It's just um, yeah, these cars are potentially a big problem. Now, who has right ways is relevant because you can't see each other. And this is the same case for the next few minutes as well as all this. So, at the moment, is anyone behind? No. no. So, you could break out, I don't want to be good. Um, I don't know if there are, but there could be parked cars on the bends anywhere around here. But none of you is better, what can you do? Um, now I can be in third. Oh, oh, what else could you do? Because third's a good board, but not with the speed, what could you do? Oh, I can go That's it. So it's not wrong to be in three, it's just you could have stayed in two and done two. So I mean, it's no right wrong, it's just you can do it either way. It's already done that country line a few weeks back where it's really open. It's not open now, but if it's open, you go. So end of the road, we go right. So, terrible view, what do you do? One. That's it. And the clutch stays down. Maybe stopping because it's quite bad, but the subject. Can you see the park car on the right? What's happened to that car? Um, it's got a dent in it. It's a bad place to park. Yeah, these are really, really awkward roads, so I'll just keep quiet on these. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's just a bit. Yep, that's great. So, expect the worst. Where could you pull in if you had to? Here. That's it. Where else is there anywhere or not? But maybe this one if you had to, but... Seems small. Oh, good. Now, they should stop. Yeah, because we can't be running. Right That's good. So I don't know the gear doesn't matter, because the main thing is to steer in the bend. Keep it really tight in. That's good. And then we think, can we speed up? Uh, yeah. yes. Then we think the gear. That's good. That's great. So you just leave the gears all later like that is better. So you sort of look at the view, set the speed, and set the gear. How would your position be better now? I think I'm a bit too far right. That's it. That's it. That's it. it is hard on this road to judge because there's no markings. Now I know it doesn't look it, but I've been on a double decker bus here when they've passed each other, two double deckers. So it's very <laughs> nice. It looks it, but they can just do it. I also saw two crash, so it doesn't always work, but, <laughs> uh, but you can get two double decker buses down here. Because when the main road shut for crashes, because I don't put you up, there's always crashes down the main road. Because uh, people don't see the little roundabouts, they go flying over and smash. So the buses have to come down here instead. Can we both? Oh yeah, no, they're that's turning. That's one. So, so yeah, we could both, because that's the, it. both the buses. So we're going to take not this one, but the next left just for our cars part. So, because these are in the cars part there. She's good, maybe one if something buckets in the way, but can we go? Yeah, that's good. Even this road's busy today, so we're going to try and do a turn the road down here, but even we're on the wind, it's busy. No, we'll have to run the door. Just everywhere we go today, it's just busy. Normally, this road's dead quiet, but. Okay, so we'll just roll. There's quite a few around here we can go and do those, so it doesn't matter. It's good here, so when you enter this road you're looking to the right because this isn't a one way or two way, it's just you know it's everywhere. It's three, four. We're just going back the way I came. Yeah, but what do you do? You, if you go right and go around again, we can do it just back there actually. So how's your position for this? Where do you want to be? Just on that there. Sorry. Um, why is this wrong? Are we going left? We're going to go right, but why is this wrong? Whichever way you're going to go. 
where are you now on the road? I'm on the wrong <laughs> side of the road, aren't so I? Yeah. Even though it's not you're still going to be over that side. But that's good, that's welcome, aren't you? So let's roll, I'm just going to follow back to the right. There's just one place I saw around there. Oh, one. That's good, that's it. That's good. There's one place I saw there we can go and do it in. There isn't exactly a curb, but there's a thing we can treat as a curb. All the cars have got dents in around there. That black one over there has got to be dent. So when you get around, we're going to pull up sort of in front of the garages. It just smashed the bits anyway. So you just go around to the right. Big few turns. You just pull up anywhere around here. So how do you get rid of that jittery when you pull up? I should have put my clutch down That's it, earlier. clutch down oh, that's good. So this is okay, I'm just going to go forward a little bit because I want to position just oh. in the place I want to be. So if we go left to touch, just treat this curve as a solid curve. So we did a manoeuvre. Um, this is quite nice actually because <coughs> you can sort of get it wrong, you know, without hitting the curve as you were. But just treat this curve as a solid raised curve. Okay. Um, these garages haven't been used for, for decades, I don't think. No, it should be okay. Well, so, turning the road, we did this about, what was it, five, six weeks ago now? Yeah, so, it was a while, yeah. Uh, what do you remember about this? Um, so, I want to do, I should be in first and then creep and turn right so yeah. that I'm face on and then once I'm face on I want to be in reverse. Yeah. What do you want to do before you finish going forwards? Before you finish the first part? You want to turn a little bit in one direction yeah. but I can't remember which way. It's like the opposite way so if it's That's right it. it'd be a bit left. Yeah. So as much as you can, ideally all the way but it's hard to get all the way because you've got to stay really quick. Yeah but what's the point of doing that? So when you are going into reverse, it's easier to... to like, this might sound stupid, is it the wheels are pointing in a better direction? Yep, that's it. Can you come back, you're already going that way, rather than having to go. If we draw this on a dog, it's so we could... Um, let's go this round about. Yeah, we'll do one or two or three of them here, and then we'll move on to a different one. But, um, this, what we say about them being narrow, this is the thing you must do really well. Is what you, you call it what you want, counter steering or whatever you want to call it, opposite lock or whatever. So you sort of roll over the road like that. So if you were to turn left, imagine you go all the way now, mm -hmm. most of the way is good. Your wheels are already face left, so when you come back, you're already going like that. Rather than if you're still facing right, you go back where you came from, then you're losing ground, steering left, left, left. You've lost half the road before you've even turned, and then you've kind of lost the position. Then you just stand again, you go forward, back where you came from, turn right. It's really clumsy, you'll take ages to get around. You'll probably take seven or nine goes to get around. So that's the main thing. The clutch work um, has been a lot better, so I won't miss that much, but on this one, most of the manoeuvre, the clutch will be down. So it's kind of, like we said about coming out of the junction, it's kind of down, creep down, creep down, like that. So going down, it constantly cuts the power, so you're not going flying towards the curb. Um, like when you come out of junction, if your clutch is up, it's dragging you out the end of the road, so you're being pulled out the end all the time. If it's down, you roll into a stop. You can roll, balance it, and then go. Okay. Well, um, this one slopes. Yep, that's good. So, probably don't need much power because I'll roll that that's way. That's it, that's good. Well, let's give that a go. So, okay. what's going on behind? Um, cars. That's it. Just as good as I even though it's a dead end road or a pretty dead end road, you still get cars coming around. It's a cold and dent in the side. Yep, well, right. so let's give that a go. Okay, so first. And. So just clutch those only. Oh. That's it, right down, that's it. Because you don't, like, so you don't need the power because they're just slow. It's not moving much, but if you turn the wheel right now, that should make it roll. I'm guessing so, I haven't done this one before, but. You turn my clutch down, that's it, because that should make it roll down the hill. It may not, but if it does, maybe it's not much of a hill. So you turn a little bit more. No, nah, so you'll be a clutch. Okay. That's wrong, actually. Okay. That's it, so big, big turn. That's it. So close it down. You shouldn't need the clutch at all, though. So, breaking a bit, breaking, breaking. So how much more have you got to go? Uh, not very far, don't you? So do you. Turning as your brake goes on off, so clutch those down, otherwise you go flying the curb. Brake goes on off, turn, 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 left. Big turn, oh, that's it. Brake, 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 that's it. And then turn, and then brake. That's good. That's it, brother. That's good. And stop, stop. That's about as much as you can get done. Because any more forward, that would hit the curb. Okay, and then one now. Now, reverse. Before that, two things. First of all, brake is secure. Look. Yeah, that's it. 
and Hanbury? Yep, that's it. It's quite a big hill here going down at Camber. Yep, that's good. Okay. We know that because you were rolling quite quick there when your bike came off. That's good. I go back to neutral. It seems like you won't go in fully, so right down. That's it. Do you remember how you said you could tell if it's in? I don't know if you'd went over this before. I think we did. I I th we did, but I can't remember. No, that letter I was leaning right back, so it's over that headphone socket, the, the memory card. Like oh, yeah, before yeah. it was like that, so it's got to be right down, and I'll be in. Okay, so let's give this a go. So I want to turn left when I'm doing it. That's it. So which two pedals do you need to control? Be on hand brakes down, so yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so clutch and That's it. gas. That's good. That's oh, it. Like that. okay. okay. So as soon as you move, massive turn left. That's it. That's good. Turn, 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 turn. That's it. That's good. That's really good. Down, down, down. down. Too down, fast. Down. So if you're looking where as well when you come back, which way do you need to be looking? That's it. Because if you come out that quick without looking back, there's no one there, no one around at all. If there is, you go flying into them. So, all we do is, the uh, handbag goes on. In fact, uh, if you didn't know handbag, so I'm going to roll forward again. If you didn't know pills out, so it's all redo that. Because with this being so quiet around here, you can all redo it. So from about there... Now going back to Zach, the sound is going forward, it feels, or seems different, because the, you're sort of at the wrong end of the car. So if you go handbag, and then reverse, it's going to come off my clutch when yours goes down. That's it. Okay, so, yes. young man with the dog, is he going to... Mm. Okay. okay, so, looking out the left shoulder, and just gas clutch a little bit so it pushes it up too hard. And you just have a whining sound when you went back, it sounds like, a, like something winding up when you went backwards before. That's why you don't hear when you reverse, because you hear that noise when it goes a bit too, that's when it's going too quick. So is that man around? Yeah. Okay, so that clutch is pretty good. Maybe a fraction of when that comes off, let's just see. Okay. Sorry, that's it. Oh, I'm stuck with that. So, that's it. That's good, that clutch is really good. There. Oh, and left. That's it, so clutch is blue. That's it. And keep it mad, that's good. Yeah, if somebody does use a Gary, yes. <laughs> and then the right shoulder looking over there. Okay. Clutch up a tiny bit. Right, clutch down, side brake, that's it, side brake, side brake, side brake, that's it. So you don't want to roll too far, that's all, steer. The coming back to the hardest way, I'd steer, clutch down brake. But by the time I've said it, it could be too late. So if you didn't know, I'll just throw you that. So, just roll off a little bit. This is really hard, but I'll show you in slow motion, because I'm actually easy. So we'll do, my gas clutch down, so I'm creeping back. When you turn the wheels, that's going to affect the way your car rolls, because it might roll faster or slower, whatever, depends on the way the hit is. So, I do clutch up like this, so you turn the loads right now, and then I do turn to turn, clutch down, brake. So you don't roll much, you always roll a little bit because you, you've got to do it, you don't want to roll too far forward or back. You don't want to be in reverse like that and be rolling like that, because mm -hmm. you're rolling quite a way. That's pretty good, and then if you do both feet down, that uh, braking clutch up. That's it, and then what do you need now? Handbrake. Not before that. Why don't you need the handbrake on this one? Which way are you going to roll? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, it. So, yeah, yeah. That's just dropping into one. Just try and move forward as man wants to come out and okay. then break off all gas clubs go. And that should get out as long as you turn all the way. That's good. So, we'll go to a different area and we'll draw some over there. Okay, these are the narrow ones which I said I didn't particularly want to do, but they are a little bit harder, but yeah, you've got to do them eventually, so I'm not do it now. So, a little bit of driving, I won't so much. Um, apart from, if you can pull up just before the green car, there's one thing I want to go over, and then we'll go and try them. That's good. That's it. So, this is just something to go over quickly from, that's less nothing else. Um, so in a moment you're going to have a mini roundabout, it doesn't matter if it's a mini, it could be big or whatever. It's going to be a mini one, and <laughs> we're going to be turning, close, turning from there, turning right into that road. So who's got right away? If cars are coming up the hill, buses, whatever, going straight, we're turning right. I 
us because we're on their road. Yeah, so, so this is the one I mentioned before. I said there's lots of crashes on that road, and that's why the buses went the other way. Um, lots of people here just don't sit around about to do it wrong or whatever. So the idea is, if nothing comes from the right, probably won't be anyone there. It could be, but it's a fairly quiet road. You want to be too clutch up, no pedal at all, don't brake, don't clutch, nothing at all. Just roll, steer around, then accelerate away. Because if you clutch one down on the approach, that's down the big hill, what's going to happen? Oh, you speed up. Yep, then you go fly and lose control. If you give way to them, everything will go wrong, because then they'll start moving, then you can't go, and then it all gets jammed up, everything goes wrong. Um, yep, yeah, so it's quite easy, all you do is you just come up and just go, as long as no one's coming out of there, you just go. But, okay. Um, just wanted to be clear on that one. So, things on the way I want to go over are things about leaving the gear later. So it's going to be like, okay, so sort of steer, then gear. So the rest is all good. So we get to the end of the road, steer, 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 then drop into one, and go. The rest is all really good though. And we'll go to a place we do more turn in the road. We'll try another three or whatever of those that we can do. We probably won't finish that state, but we'll try and get as much done as we can. Um, and maybe finish next time. But let's go into our left, but I won't say much at all. It's pretty much up to you. There won't be anything we haven't done before, apart from that roundabout will help us. Okay, so into the right left. Um, I won't change gear because it's... How's that clutch been out? Down. That's it. That's it. Okay, that particular one doesn't have to be down because we've only just moved off, so it's different. But normally you wouldn't have just moved off, you know, at a junction. So when it's down, it gives you more, you, know, you can look at it both ways. When it's down, you get more control because you can slow the car down more, control it with the clutch control. If it's up, you do have more control because the engine's connected, but you get pulled out at the end of the road. So it's, it's good and bad either way, look at it, but with the clutch down, at low speed, you do actually have more control than down. Imagine if you do the clutch down now, you lose all control, you go fly backwards. That's what I mean when we normally say when the clutch is down, you lose control. At a high speed, yeah, but at a low speed, it's got to be down so you can control the car. So, end of the road left, very end. It's a bit of a weird lucky one, this, but I won't talk about it much. Okay, so we're going to well. Um, 20. Yep. This is one of the few 20 zones around here, but just be aware it's 20 because it's, uh, it's, it's a. Too soon. Okay. No, you don't need to do anything. See if it's right away. Just roll. You don't. You can do dashy too, not too bad. It might work out well, but you just brake, clutch, steer, steer around the bend. Wait, left. Clutch down, steering, steering, steering. That's it. Big steering, steering, big steering. No gears at all until now to one. That's it. Then roll. Okay, not that bad, because actually you might need it too when you did, but you can leave it late. Okay. How much more could you creep? I could creep a bit more. How much after the could you creep? No, that's it, that's good. Right. So left and right, both ways. Yeah, okay. I think I'll... That's it. That's good. Yeah, so mainly looking left when you creep in, but looking right, you know, to see what's going on. Um, they're both. So, next roundabout, if you stay in second, this way, it's a little bit easier. It's going to be roundabout right. Um, this is the one we spoke about just. Okay. It's about 20 all the way down here. So breaking oh, breaking. So, yeah, it's really hard to keep on 20. It's, um, it's almost impossible, but you know, with a hill pulling you down. So, I'll talk through this one because this one can be potentially dangerous otherwise. So, we're now ignoring head, but they should give way to us. So lock a normal roundabout, mirror signal. This one the clutch must stay up for now, otherwise you'll go flying down the hill. It's not from the skid marks here. So breaking a little bit, but there's nothing out of water, I don't think. No, no so it's breaking, breaking. Oh, and then clutch down. So that's how fast it can change our car come up. And then break off all, clutch up, round you go, big turns. That's going to happen because nothing was there at all. Since I said that, that car come up straight away, bang, it was there. That's why I say I always expect the worst, you always expect and plan for it to, to go wrong. And we'll go next left. We can maybe try turning the road down here. Let's just see. I'm trying to avoid doing it here because you've got a busy place to do it, but at the moment it looks really good. Let's see. So if you pull up on the left just before the next lamppost there. 
present scenario on the ladder. That's going to matter. So what's going to be different about this turning the road? There might actually be cars. That's it. They're going to go. That's it. So I don't normally do a mirror beach. It looks fairly quiet today because sometimes this gets swamped with learners doing on this road. But um, what else is different as well? Because there's a few differences on this one. Um, so now there's not so much sloping across but downwards yep, a bit. Massive. Is it safe to do one here or not? You could look a river bad place but what, what I is think it? We could do one here. Yeah. Why is it okay because you're on the bend but why is it okay on the island there? You're on the bend. Um, it's quite open. Yep, that's so it. So they can see us. That's good. So one beyond is that someone doing it? Yeah, I think yeah, so. <laughs> so this is you don't need to memorise this at all, but um this is actually where you do want to test a lot, you come down this road and do them. So there's loads of places you could be, but this is one they actually use quite often. Yes, yeah, so there's one behind that's gonna speed around me for so it's all go forward, not just yet, but sort of forward, back, forward, and that's been done pretty well. Um but all those things you mentioned are different, they don't really change how you do it, that's the thing to understand. You do it the same as you did before, it is a busier road, so looking, maybe not looking more, but looking, being aware people could be around. But it's the same as you did last time, same stuff. So we're trying to do reasonably quick, but not rushing it. The main thing is getting it done, but um, you know, within, well, that scroll's in the way. Eventually within, like I said, 10, 15 seconds, you know, so. Right, so let's give that a go. What parts do you want me to help you with? What would you want to do on your own? Uh, the reversing part yep. is That's it. difficult at the minute. <laughs> the coming back bit is going to be hard because you're going to be going up the hill, then down the hill. So it's going to be pushing with the crutch coming up the hill when you're halfway over the road, when you're all the way over the road. When you get over halfway, you're then going to be rolling back down the hill that way. That's going to be the whole thing. All I can say about that, because it just happens quite quick, is when you get towards the curb, clutch down, brake, your brake goes off and all that. So you're going to roll in towards the curb as you come back. Mm -hmm and you steer. That's the best tip I can give you. So clutch down, gives you more control at low speed like we said before, then the back on off and off and off, like that. But let's give it a go. So if you put your clutch back down there. So it's pretty much up to you. Just um, all the time we've been here, there's not been much traffic at all. So let's see if it stays that dead. So I'm thinking I should use... That's it. Not the gas, but That's it. use That's the brake instead. Um, I see this car, but I can sit here like this for a minute. Yep. It's good to keep looking just as so you pull away as well. So if someone appears if you just started, you can still stop. So, oh, okay, right. Um, maybe some gas. Before you stop, um, no wheel. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it. Down. That's it. Back, 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 back. That's it. So you got to turn much quicker. You got to turn, 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 turn. Like loads left as you way. So no more room to go forward now. Let's go. So what before that, what do you do? Um, I can't remember. Just hand back, goes on. See so them okay. roll. Then looking. So is anyone around? No. Oops, let's go back. Um, if someone was from the right, you might not go to reverse, you might let them pass, then go to reverse. Okay, so let's go. Um, Just turn really quickly, turn back. So as you move back slow, turn it real quick. So, which way did you turn? Left. That's it, turn, massive turn, 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 that's it, turn, 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 that's good. That's it, that's good. And looking where they live, that's good. That's good control. So, because you controlled it well, it doesn't matter that you didn't turn much on the way forward. Okay, I can go back to the corner. That's good. Corner, that's it. And now right. Yep, so try and get brake off, turn really fast and brake off. So your brake kind of pulses on and off. So brake off, turn really fast, right. It's actually not mean. So we turn, 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 that wax move. Turn, turn, brake, brake, brake. So clutch has fully down. It's just brake off, turn, 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 turn. And then brake. And then brake off and turn. That's good. That's what I mean. Okay. That's it. Um, and then I'm next one, that's good, that's it. It's done? That's off, that's it. Yeah. Can we go? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't put that's it on. Yep, yeah. no, I didn't put it on, that's fine. That was good, so end of the road, we'll go left. 
I don't need to do too many there because it's a, it's, it was quite lucky on cars just coming down. It's not a busy road, but it's, um, I don't need to do too many on that road. So Mandy gives is steering, when he gets to the curve, or towards the end of the road, steering after that, so he's bending in as it can be going. Yeah. Yeah. No, bit like the sign before, but what's this one mean differently with the two arrows? Um, on? it means they've got, no, we've got right away. No, wait, someone has. <laughs> um, where was the giveaway line? Look at that mirror, where, where was the giveaway? Um, it was us. Yep, yeah, that's it. So it's easy to just look at the floor, and yeah, we've got a giveaway line. Um, we'll go over that morning a bit when we pull up, but it's the only one we had earlier on that meant two way, but it's not the same. Let's lift it a little bit, that's good. Just that little turn there made all the difference, because if you're going right, you were sort of drifting over towards the car. So it's straight on, just follow the road for quite a way. This will come out where we can do another turn in the road. But it's pretty much all up to you. So turning the road, what could be improved about that? Um, so I need to hesitate less probably and just and so I can do it quicker and then remember to put the handbrake on in between um, yeah. nearly everything. <laughs> Did you always need a handbrake or not though? Um, not if it's flat. No, that's it. So whether you do or not, it depends how fast you do. Because you find when you do it faster, you simply don't give the car time to roll. Because if you do you feet your hands really quick, even without the handbrake, you can't wait enough time to roll backwards. That's good. But overall, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, to turn the road. Just start turning more, but I'll go down in a sec. We'll talk about that. So, what's this sign saying? Where's the right line? Um, we have right away. That's it. That burn, yeah. So, blue signs normally the colour blue. Ignore it. That's it. <laughs> what does that mean, the colour? Um, sorry, what does that, that mean? That colour blue, what does that mean? Like on any sign, if you get, it's quite hard, so if you get a colour blue, what does that tell you? Uh, Apart from motorways. So yeah. Um, I don't I quite, I don't know, so. Okay. It's normally positive information, so not what it normally says you can do this. It's like saying you can go, I think like bus lane signs, it's saying buses can go down at this time, where your cars can go down this time, whatever. So, it doesn't always apply, but normally blue means you can do this. But it's confusing, because it actually sometimes means you can't. It's will quiver out in the future. It's so, not the vehicle shown can do this, so if you're not the vehicle shown, you can't do that. So hopefully there'll be room at the end of this road, I think there is. Then it's really busy, every road today, if road goes normally dead, it's really busy. <laughs> but when they go and pull up just before the end, when that big tree is just past the side road. Okay. okay. Just pull up on the left, just by where the lamppost is, just after these the leaves, by the fence. By the... Just oh way. yeah, I see that. So the steering thing I'll explain now because this is easy to explain on this little, this little part of the road. What it is is you call your wheel one like kind of pulse in on the brake or you know just putting the brake on and off. Um, what's the point of doing this or why do we have to go like that on the brake when um, you're steering? So we don't go, to, so we won't sort of do it really quickly and hit something. Is that what else we want to know? Why can't I just steer now with the car still? Oh yeah, damages the car to do that. That's it. So it might seem awkward, it's really awkward, but you have to all go brake off. You would turn like that, because it's moving a little bit, mm. doing a little bit of clutch, and we turn then on the brake, and it's all done. But when you're down the hill, I'll try and get it down a bit more of a hill, maybe they'll pull down a bit more. You, you want to sort of, don't steer now, but you want to sort of go brake off, turn fast, brake on like that, so your car's constantly moving, but only a little bit. If you just go brake off, smash, you go the curb. If you brake on, you won't move anywhere. So your brake kind of pulses like that, so you move and you turn. And you should be able to turn from full left to full right, all the other way around, without moving more than from here to about there. So you barely move what centimetre or two on the floor and you've turned all the way. If you're trying to, if you go left all the way, I'm just going to move so no way. Left. So turn left big, I'm going back on, back off, and turn right all the way. That's it, so you're turning all the way and barely moving. That's it, and then back to the middle. I'm confused, so that's middle. That's it, that's, that's, that's middle. That's it. <laughs> so there we went left, right, middle, and we barely moved more than what, three centimetres on the floor. What you don't want is when you're turning and you've gone from here, to here and you've only done a quarter of a turn. That's what you do when you got to turn really fast out so your hands are whipping around really fast. Um, that's how you get these done on these narrow roads because this is quite a narrow road here, a very narrow road. Um, so that's the key to getting good to, to get it done good. But the other one was really good because when you come back you actually turn all the way left coming back which is fine you can do that. As long as you get it done 
it doesn't really matter how you do it as long as it's safe um, the other one why didn't you need the handbrake at the end because I didn't mention this so I need to get out of the way of any traffic but there was something that would stop you from rolling back on the very last part of the last one don't you know when you said about the handbrake off and you said it was already off yeah why what, what do you think we weren't rolling back um Actually, so. so that back tire was just touching the kerb, so you weren't on it, but you were touching <laughs> oh. it. So the kerb is acting as like a brake. So not bad because you didn't go up here. That's fine. You can do that. You know, you sort of acting as a brake, stopping you rolling back. So if ever you're going back and you feel resistance on the handbrake's on there, that's what it is. But if ever you're feeling all that, and people say, "What's that? What's that?" Again, clutch up, up, up. What is it that's stopping you? Miss. Right. Yeah, that's it. So don't push because what can happen is you push and push and push and you go flying back through the fence. So if something's resisting, don't push, that's the curve resisting. Well, it could be the handbrake rock is now, but yeah, if it's resisting, don't push, push, it will stop. That's the curve. Tapping it doesn't matter. If you go up here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you're kind of bashing the car up the curve. So just try and do it three. This is very hard in three, so if you're doing three, you're doing well. If it doesn't work in three, just do an extra couple of moves doing five. It's okay, but it's pretty much up to you. I'm not going to say much apart from maybe the thing about the brake on off on, but the rest of that was really good. So, we'll try and get as much done as we can today, but we don't have to finish it because we can do, do this anytime. Okay, um, which way is the car facing now? Which direction? Like on the hill, which way is it? Um, Slightly like down. That's it. So that's good. So you can roll. Oh, okay. So no gas. That's it. That would have been okay, but it would have been gone quicker. Okay. Sorry. It doesn't roll much at all. It's you know, something. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the effect your tyres have when you see the tyres slow you down. That's your tyres digging in the floor. Let's we'll see how good this can be. I won't say a bit push as late as you can. I should really to break in case, but. Okay, so. Now I should be left. Or can you go any more? Yeah. That's what you. That's good. That's good with your bad because if you didn't brake, that was just about going to hit the curb. Because down there, that's the absolute limit of how far you can go. I'm not sure if I need... No. Probably... No, I will handle yep, that's it. Okay, and then... Um, reverse. How can you tell how close this is as well? Um, I don't know, it just feels... Yeah, if you can judge it, it could be like your feet, the, you see your right foot's near the kerb almost. So imagine yeah. a car see through, he's right by the kerb. What's wrong with that reverse looking at him? I never said don't look at the gears before. But Is it not quite in that's it. reverse? Uh, yeah, I felt that's it, it didn't, that's good. Um, it came out too easy. So as you come back, what do you need to do really quick? Um, my turning. Yeah. So try and do like a demonstrator, you've got to move really slow, you don't want to move more than a centimetre that much on the road, but you've got to turn left all the way as you do that. You don't have to do it if you don't, you won't get around in three probably. Because five isn't wrong, but three is better. Not five points. Right, okay. So, so that's, that's good, that's it. That's it. That's good. Looking where to begin. That's it, many people. That's good. Now, how much more room have you got to go back, if any? Uh, so if you break and clutch down, not. that's it. That's it. So the thing is now, if your clutch goes right down, that's it. Stands off. Looks like so this one is going to be break off, turn really fast, but then break on. So your brake pulses on and off. So you've got about how much do you reckon like, in terms of centimetres or inches or whatever? Um, no, actually, maybe like this. But I don't know what that is. In yeah. Thirty. So the babe, not much of about sort of like that, to really sort of 10 oh, centimetres or so, okay. really small. So maybe less than that, it's hard to say exactly, but it's very close. So you've got to break off, turn really quick and break on, off and off. So, um, which will do more damage between dry steering or hitting the kerb? Hitting the kerb. That's it. So it's always better if you need to dry steer. You don't want to, but that's better than hitting the kerb and smacking the tyre. So just try and break off, turn really quick, turn whip around. That's it. That's it. That's good. That's it. That's great. Yep, that's good to start that. Okay, that's and now fine. we can go... Did you feel the curve there? You didn't hit it, but you've got to roll up against it. So we're not on it, oh, but you've got to roll into it. I that's good. That's, it was it. The curve. that's okay, you're allowed to do that, because you haven't mounted it, you haven't gone up the curve, your tire didn't lift off the floor. Okay. 
Is there room, do you think, to get out? Uh, I think maybe. Yeah, that's good. When you're doing it, we're going to pull up and try another two in this area. Does this pram on the left, Madam? We're not pram, it's a bike. Uh, so as long as I don't have the curb, it'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I say about you know, it's good to get on your three. Quite a bit of room in the first, can just pull it, just put it and this could practice now that creeping and steering. So you're pushing and into left. You know, so it's awkward to position when you go forwards, that's why you manoeuvre backwards. That's good. Okay. That's, it. Now that's why you park backwards, you remember that for the future, because if you're going forward, it's very clumsy the way the car works. Yep, so what do you make of that turning the road in general? I think it's better. Yep, than, that's good. Yeah, I think that's better, actually. I'm well, surprised we did it in three. But. Is there anything about it you want to get better, or is that, do you think, is that fine? Um, if I could do it like that, but quicker, I'd be happy. Yep, that's good. So what's that? That'll come in practice, but that, that's, that's pretty good as it was. Yep, so imagine most times you get this on lessons or tests or whatever, the kerb on your side will be at least where the wooden fence is, so it's much wider. So, you know, normally you won't have the problem with it being too narrow, but I like to do it in a narrow place so you can do it anywhere. Um, normally, why would this be a bad place to do to this manoeuvre? Um, is it going to be because you're between two roads? Yep, to have a road on the right, it would normally be terrible, but this is a dead end, not much ever comes up here. So, it'd be a, even if it does, they've got time, they've got room. <coughs> to see us. But yeah, so normally this would be a terrible place to do one, but it's uh it's pretty it's super pretty dead around here. Right, so it's up to you, I won't speak unless I need to. I might break or whatever, but I'll try not to speak, so it's up to you to work it out. Try and do it within about a minute, but it'll be not really about that time, that's not the main thing for now. But just gonna try and accelerate at each time. But it's better to get it done properly than do it faster than mess it up. Okay. That edge, not now, but try and turn much more left before you go back. You don't have to be, you could have turned there loads more. So not now, when you do it oh, in the okay. future, just turn quicker. So if you turn quick, you'd have like an extra turn at least done. But it's still good, that's just how it goes. Okay, um, so... Yes. And which one do you have to begin with when you come back? That's it. Right. That's it, just that left, left shoulder, sorry. that's it. That's it. So looking for any people behind you or anything like that. So left shoulders will begin. Then the right when you get closer to the curb. Okay. Just look at over there, that's it. Let's go. So see, this is harder because you didn't turn as much as you could on the first part. Yeah. Okay. This is only about because you didn't turn quick. What's yeah. the problem going to be now? I don't know if I can get it. That's it. Right, that's the curb. Yeah. That's it. Um, Which part of the car hit the curb then? The back left. That's it. Wheel. So if that hits, you know, you didn't turn enough. Because if the back left is for the back right, your car's facing the wrong way. Yeah, that isn't the problem. That would still be okay in terms of tests or whatever. Just so you, you were the standard needed. Because you didn't smack it, you only rolled general. So that's okay. But we're trying to avoid that. Okay, so now I'm first. I don't need to have a break. So what do you do now if it's not going to go? Uh, it's not going to happen, it's is it? As it's turn, loads left, but turn all the <laughs> way before you finish. So massive turns left, turn, 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 then break. That's good like that. That's what you do. So if you did that on the first part of the manoeuvre, that would have gone any three. It's all because on the first part you're not zooming back enough. That's good. That Don't go anymore because that's the absolute limit how far you go. That tyre is just about going to hit the kerb. So, what do you do? So now we need to have a break again. Looking good. That's it. You want to make sure no one's passing before you go to reverse. Because if someone is passing, then I see you reverse. That's shocking. Oh no. Yeah, that's a good example there, so they're going to come around. Can they get on me or? No, let's get back a little bit. That's good. 
Oh. Take your foot up, set the pin goes on. Rick. That's it, so there you go, clutch. Pretty high. That's good. Okay. You can work. The right now. The left. Mm. The left again. That's it, finish okay, turn. Now I can. Stop. Okay. One. Look left hand go. The reason I'm saying that is it makes it sort of quicker. So we'll put up on left to get away to the long post. The good example there, like I said, it's a very quiet moment, it's still still a bit. That's good. A lot of people come down here, turn around and come back where they came from. I don't know why, but a lot of people think this road goes somewhere it doesn't. This is what they're probably going to do now. Yeah. yeah. Loads of people think it joins the main road, maybe she's going to part there, but people just come down here, turn around, scratch the red like that and then drive off. <laughs> yeah, people <laughs> seem to think it's, uh, it's a road that goes somewhere. But yeah, so that one, what made that not work in three? Um, I should have turned more left in the f on the first time. That's it. I so your hands got like a couple of whipping around fast, fast like this. I can't really show you that swapping seats, so but your hands got to be really fast steering. Um, if you try to sting it now, if you try to sort of steer, so I'll roll forward a little bit. So we turn all the way left about now. That's it, really fast, fast, fast. And when you go right much faster now, so turn, turn, turn right now. That's it, like that. That's what it's got to be. That's it. It doesn't matter if you cross your hands or whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you get it done, that's the main thing. And then back to the middle. That's it. Again, there we've got left, right, middle. We've barely moved at all. Because on the other one, you're kind of rolling like that, but you do, if you sort of turn the course to left now, you're doing that, then you're rolling and stopping. See, you're sort of not doing much steering. So if you turn quickly, you'll get around. But five is okay, five is acceptable, but three is better. Okay. Um, because it's obviously quicker and you get around in three instead of five. So we're going to try one more, and then we'll go and work and finish off the roundabouts, and then we'll finish there. So it's up to you. Um, I won't say much, because what you're doing is good, it's just got to be... But I'll say be quicker, but bear in mind this road is very narrow, so we will take that into account. This is much, much harder than you would normally get. Okay, so normally, if it's wider, how does that make a difference? What's that obvious? How does that change the way uh, the manoeuvre's done? So I wouldn't have to turn quite as much as I am that's it. now. That's it. You could even not bother to turn left at all, and then you could just go forward, do it on the way back. So much, much easier when it's wider. But we don't want to do it too easy. Well, right, let's give that a go. Now we're pretty much at the edge, I think. That's it. So, yeah. okay. well, I might have to shoot forward a bit there. Um, I must have come off the clutch quick. Yep, that's it. But it's good because you've recovered it, you stopped before you hit the curve. I'm not going to break it, that's really after you, I didn't have to break there, so that was good. What's that noise? Is that not that's in the gear properly? It's like a draw, you got a draw noise, that's good. That's it. That's fine. Okay. That's just the way this car and every, every car I've ever had like this is the same. Even when it's brand new, first I had it, does that? You can tell when you won't do it because when your clutch comes up here, you feel it pull or push back. That's it, that's it. Sorry. Just imagine you're on a high street and people are walking behind you, or you're in a car park. Okay, that. I thought I was further away than I was, um, and now we can go. Forward. It's just soft that was, that wouldn't matter. It's not that the test is easy to pass, but it's just saying that, that it doesn't really make a difference if you do that. It's only a soft tap, you bounce off. It's worse if you go smash and you hit a bang and that's the tire blowing, whatever. So, is this going to get out, do you think? If you steer quick enough, could you get out? I think so. Yep, yeah, you've got to turn really quick and not move much at all, so massive fast steering. That's good. That's it. So we'll pull up just here, we won't do another one, we're just going to go over a couple of things about that. So the is when you come back, where do you need to be looking? Left. That's it. So like that, you're looking all around. If you look in the mirror, how is that different looking in the mirror to looking over your shoulder? So in the mirror, what can you see different? It seems wider. Yep, so you can't see them much. If you look over your shoulder, you see all the sides, all mm. the, the wide on the sides. Looking in the middle mirror, you can just see back and start tunnel vision. So that's why you can't look in the mirror in case you're in the way. Let's go like that. 
quarter line. Then when you get to the curve, you look over your right, the more left because I'm looking for the curve. Not there. But, um, if you didn't manoeuvre perfectly, but you're not looking your far for that, because of course you could have hit someone, that's the problem. So it, sometimes people do the manoeuvre perfectly well, but they're not looking at all, and you, um, you're far for that. If you were looking, but you hit the curb a bit, it doesn't matter as much, because you were looking, at least you know what's going on around you. Um, we don't focus on the test much, but you've got to know what to expect when you go through. So, the other thing as well, I think that, that's just even quicker. It's all these about sort of getting the steam really, really quick. Um, but we'll leave that for now, bring back to that next time <coughs> on uh, Sunday, is it? Tuesday? Uh, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, we change it. Yeah, so sorry. next we're going to do is the roundabouts. So, what you say we're going to do on the roundabouts on the way back? Do you remember we said we're going to work on one particular thing? Um, so I need to, the, I need to get the blockers That's it. better. That's good. Knowing when to go. And so imagine there's a blocker now coming from ahead. Um, as soon as I pass where a woman is, you will go. Assuming they're going to block for definite. So let's go and have a look at that. Um, it's just really getting the timing of the blockers. So most of it I'm going to leave up to you. Um, so just follow the road ahead for quite a way. That's up to you. Uh, but I'll help when we get back towards the roundabouts. There'll be different ones to be before. They're slightly bigger, but that makes them a little bit easier in a way. Give you more time. I didn't look. That's it. You did look to I knew it was going to be okay. <laughs> You only moved a little bit, but you did look, that's fine, yeah, you looked before it before counted. So, straight on, just keep going all the way down. These times when I don't speak are important, because the less I speak, the better. <coughs> My body and the lessons I won't be speaking at all for like two hours, I don't, so I think. And that's when you know you're ready to go. Apart, even our directions, I won't say, it's up to you to just read road signs. And, Be talking to myself. <laughs> that's what's good. You can do like commentary driving, you know, where you, not like before when you're talking to that, turning around, that's good. Do they, are they okay with that? Yep. Is, does that show that you don't know? That's good. Just keep this car doing it. That's good. No, you can do that, that's fine. Um, yeah, you just, if you find it easier, you can. That's fine, you did, when you watch this back in the video, it does look really quick because it looks like it bangs, but that's always been, because the camera stuck to the windscreen, it looks really bad. But when you're doing it, that's fine. But wasn't that not the best time to get third? Because of the hell. Yep, that's it, so it's good matter too. Because you couldn't see that far ahead at all. These cars the other way, you're not here to them, but you're quite close, so you'll be more left when you get past those. So it's all diving back in. It doesn't help these cars are parked in these stupid places here. Put you on the bump on the bend. Um, who's yeah, at me? That's okay. Good. Yeah, because they're waiting. Yeah. That's it, that's good. Yep, yeah, that's good. So if you stopped as well, you both stop. Yeah, both stopping can be okay, but then it's causes confusion. So try and move left quite a bit. Oh, that's good. So a car comes towards you, your mirror should be nowhere near at all. Yeah, that's your right mirror should be nowhere near to near mirror. Just get left, you gotta get left. Oh. You can't get out. See how it's saying you must give this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You okay. can't get out with you going down the wrong side of the road. Just straight on, keep going. Unless this road is one way, you can't do it. So before we sat on the turn of the road, what was wrong with your position? Because you're trying to come out on the wrong side of the road. So, you have to straight up, let's go. Okay. Are we taking the next road on the right, just past where those people are walking? This is like the last one, it might seem different, but it's the same as the last bit we did. You just obviously keep on the left. Can we go? Can go. That's good. That's it. So it might seem obvious, but you just keep on the left. So we do. This one you don't need three, no point. Because you can't see it, there's bumps, cars, no point. Yeah, I was thinking about it because I know I want to be, but I don't think. So it's got to be done according to conditions because you don't just get three for the sake of getting three. There's got to be a good reason for doing it. 
and you can go quite quick in two and not have to get three. But this is fine, you can start like that, that's good. So, there's going to be a round around a bit, but we'll go right. So, I help with this one because it's quite dodgy on the times with the bike. So, what we do right. is terrible view, so we just get um, one. That's it, so, breaking, looking right, can we go? No. So, balance it, but when can we go? Go for the blue one. Yeah. That's good. It's good you look at left there, that's good. That's great. Because that is one where people can fly and down. There's crashes every year on that roundabout, people from behind. That one's good. But people coming down the hill just don't even see the roundabout at all. When that person's crossing just up the road, there was a woman killed doing that. Because she crossed and someone went around the bus and smashed them. So it's pretty dangerous this road. Yeah. It doesn't look here maybe, but uh, when it's busy it can be. There's that bus stop there, the bus pulled up. She was walking in front, someone overtook. They should, um, so that's like a thing they always ask on the theory, isn't it? Because you should, so if you, lift a little, you should it. expect somebody to come out, yep, that's if it. it's near a bus especially. Yep. So I know what's going to happen, maybe. Um, so it might turn red, yep, that's it. maybe. Okay, well now we're going to have to break anyway. That's good. So I'm going to go to two. That's good. Two's good there, because one would have been a little bit over. So it's good. Okay. okay, so we can go. That's good. But, oh, good practice here for creeping. So it's up to you, I won't say too much. Don't want to be too close to them, one. That's good, that's it. That's better because you respond to that much quicker. Um, we're going to go, well, what, what's coming up in the moment? Uh, small roundabout. That's it, it's going to go ahead. So where exactly do you give way to when it's where is the right? In front of me. That's it. Are any of those turning? Well, they're not signalling, so no. Yeah, that wall one is a clutch down. One, that's good. That's what we have to watch on these, where if someone's turning like that. Could you go before the silver one, you think? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's good. Because even with the signal, that's good. Because they've got to go round and round about. And even if they didn't, they still can't see. It's a little bit because I know that road well, but from where they were, they can't see a thing at all. And you could tell they were slowing down, slowing down, having a good look. So, this might be the first satellites we've actually to deal with the comment if we did many lights before. No, you've not but, had uh, any reds yet. Yeah. So, just like a normal approach to a roundabout or something. That's good. Yeah, that's great. So, it's a lights, roundabout, all sorts of pretty much. So, roundabout left first exit. So, much bigger this one. So, you get more time for block. That's the main mix. So, is he going to block or is he going to go the other way? Uh, he's not signalling. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, that grey one's blocking. Yeah. That's it. Let's turn this in. So, why is it good to get third now with nine at the moment? Because of the hill, that's I'll it. go too quickly. That's good. Whereas now that's good, he's kind of holding his back. Okay, so These bumps are fine, you're breaking a touch, but you can go over them at 30. So I'm going to get left a little bit more. But yeah, that's good, that's it. Do you remember the thing we said about lining up the arrow with the clutch? I don't know if you said that before, but you line mm. up like that, it's perfect. So your clutch pedal is lined up with the tip of the white arrow on the bump. Okay. That's a easy way to remember it. The other road, I think we did this before, the similar ones where you don't have to slow down much, but some of these are quite big. That's good. Could you get through this gap? Mm. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. So if you steer, clutch those down. Which gear now? First. Yeah, that's good. That's what I was saying before. So no idea that would have been better to go straight away. That's better than if you brake and then the car will be on the inside. That's much better. So next road on the left, we'll avoid this roundabout because this one's horrible. It's a really okay. tight roundabout. Okay, so it's just after that. In the future we'll do this one, it's really, so you know I did this at the beginning of lessons when I drove over here, I said it's a really bad around about it. Yep, so I did that one, just go straight around the gap because I wasn't wide enough, but it's good you didn't break, because if you break that's when you get smashed in the back. Because you kept momentum going, you sorted out, that was good. Zip more again. Oh, sorry, oh, so going that way. Zip to break off, off I think. That one's not that, just that's the left turn. How do you know it's the turn? Just back off for so Don't back, don't back, don't back, don't back. Sorry. No pedals, no pedals. It's no pedals at all, no pedals. Clutch up, up, up. That's it. Okay. That's it. Just because that one, you're in a bad place. So, what, why'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I no. just. Because that's there. How do you know that was a left turn? Looking in the mirror, I'll tell you. Um, oh, the, the lines yeah, on the floor. Yeah, that's it. So, if you cross the line, you must mirror the up, and that was a turn. Okay. 
So we're going to the road right. I don't know why I didn't tell this really weird. Because look here, how would you position at the end of the road? Um, I want to turn right. The That's it, but where would you position? There's a clutch down, just do left a lot, so you get over there. That's it. Then go right a bit and stop. That's it. So anyone could still come in by the side of us. But where can we go? So we'll go back now, we're going to finish just around the corner from where we normally do because really, it's the station car box music. And we'll go over that. That's a bit something that's come up we can work on definitely, I'll do it. Just to awareness us of where to go. Well, there's that one with the arrow where it's pointing to left, you want to go the other way. And there's a couple of those where you've sort of been in, the, in that position. So how's your position on this bend? Should be more left. That's it, let's go. So it kind of opens up the gap. So end of the road, we're going to go... Uh, we'll go left. Okay. If, I, if you can, yeah, we're going to the left. We can finish around here because it isn't too far from where we're going. Um, we can maybe pull up after the black car, yeah. Yeah, if you pull up... Oh, there's cars there, one. Yeah, so forget that. Come to the cars there. So end of the road, left, and we'll go and pull up down there. So see how good the position can be now. Sort of sticking tight in. Really tight, so that's it. Here's our going to Let's go. Let's go. So we'll take the next left and we'll pull up on our road. It's just no, you tell me where it is. Okay, left, next left. Down. Yeah. So, so no lines but it's still standing, still so we're gonna pull up and we don't show it about ten years. We'll pull up on the left just by the telegraph pole. So no gear. So gear doesn't matter, so roll and roll. And then if I actually go to one of our no, there's no sense to drive by this, we can't park it. So we're going to the road left, we'll try and park this way. Or right doesn't matter. So it looks like it was just clear there was someone's driveway. So just put some way safe on this road. What is I'll do the briefing on the way back because um, we're not going to be able to stop here for too long. Although, yeah, actually, that would be good. That's fine. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it turned on still because of the aircon. But so, well, that's pretty good. Like the roundabout started off good. The roundabout's definitely improved on all the approaches with the first few. Turning the road, what do you think of that? Um, yeah, I was happy with it, just a bit faster and more turning. I yeah. Think. That's it, it's managed that turning more so it's much quicker when you go left, especially on the first part, and that'll all be good. Um, the rest of it isn't much to improve, it's just the steering is making the rest go off. Like if you hit the curve, he's running, you're not quite steering enough, he's all running out of room. The main thing that's come up is he's thinking about the way to go. So the other one back there, go that way, like that. The other one on the road where you went to go the wrong way. Yeah. So you've just got to like, keep over, so you must keep left all the time. Um, when's the only time you could drive the wrong way down the road? Or just, well, not the wrong way. When's the only time we could drive on the right side of the road? Like what kind of road? So is? there'll be something on the left that's. I don't want to. Yeah. Well, when could you drive on this road? What kind of road would this be if you had to drive down, or if you could drive down both sides? Yeah. But it wouldn't have that sign, it would have two arrows. Yeah. What if that's gone? If it's just a normal road, like mm -hmm. this kind of road, but when could you legally drive on that side of the road? If um, there's like a bike. It's not one way, so one way road, that's when you do it. Okay. So only on one way road you can drive down both sides, because it's all one way, doesn't matter. But any other road you must keep over left, because that one, it's all the way the road splits. You're not the only person who's done that, I've had loads of people do that. These are not, not just learners, everyone does that, people behind have done it. Um, where the arrow is there, you've got to keep that side, keep up, you know, keep around there. I've seen quite a few people who've gone like that and just gone the wrong side and not realised they've done it. But um, we'll cover that next time, we'll go over that at the beginning. Because there are actually some roundabouts we could do, the big ones I mentioned, that have got similar things to that linked into them. Um, so we cover two things in one go. But overall it's got a lot better, so the braking's better, because the controls are much better.